Hello, today I'm going to show you the Fremantle workup of a patient who cannot get IV contrast to evaluate leofemoral access for TAVR. And as a result, got a cardiac MRI uh, and MRI of the abdomen pelvis. So you can see that here you have a MRI study that lights up the vessel for you to do measurements. However, remember, this no vessel wall calcification will not be visible in this study. And so you should correlate with the non contrast study to look at that in terms of the real access. Now here you can see that you cannot automatically segment the vessels. So if you go to manual center line here on the right side and you can see now, and you can see like the axle view, similar to do when you do have a non-contrast CT. So you can drop the gain a little bit to avoid a booming artifact. And then what you do is essentially manually trace out the center line of the iliofemoral vessel as it comes down. Do the bifurcation here with external iliac artery. You can see there's some dropout here. So again, it's not a stenosis, but rather just the way the study is done. And you go all the way down to the bifurcation, which is here. So next, you can you go to the right side and add a new center line for the left iliofemoral system. And you can see that here with the turn. Then you go down all the way to the bifurcation. You can see it's just right there. So after it's done, you go next, and then you can see that here, you want to drop the gain a little bit, and then you essentially just go to make sure they have a good center line measurement. And you can see it's a little bit of a not very sharp quality because of the limitation of the MRI study. And again, you do the left side as well. See that here. See there's some dropout in the, there's no contrast in this study, remember. So it's just the way the MRI is segmented to show you the access. So once you do that, you hit confirm, and then you can do an angio view, but this is gonna be much more challenging. You can hardly see the femoral head, but you can kind of see that here. You can certainly do measurements, but again, keep in mind that there's no vessel wall calcium that you can detect here. And you look at it, 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 iliac vessel. Obviously, this is not like an occlusion and delay filling, it's just the way the artifact that you see. You can right click to right external iliac. Again, you can see that here. This is again not the real vessel diameter, but it's like an estimate. I will keep this an estimate, same thing for the left side. Remember, this is uh, an MRI study, not a CT study. So this external diameter, and then look at the common ilia. So you can see that here, this is a bit of a true measurement of the diameter in terms of access. This is kind of the right. This is the left. And you can also look at the center line here. And the snake view here. So let's take a look at the report. You can see that this is similar to the access report that I've shown before. Again, just caution you in terms of the actual measurements, it's more like an estimate. So you can save this PDF to share with your heart team. You can, of course, you can save the session as well. 
So I hope this is helpful to you. It's probably not a very common occurrence and you need to do this kind of segmentation, but I hope that this is helpful and we'll see you next time.